This is Arizona who joined the fray here about a week ago. We're looking at a state that is, I mean, look, it's no not like they were a stranger to sports betting or whatever. There is uh, a lot of towns right along the border in Nevada. So, you know, had they gone and signed up for an app and all things like that, they were able to do that. And then also... One of the biggest feeder markets for for Vegas was, of course, Phoenix in the Phoenix area and things like that. So there's a lot of guys that are very familiar with sports betting. We figured that it was going to be a pretty big state. We figured with as you know as many pro sports teams as they got, a couple of college teams as well, and things that it, that it would be one of the uh, more interesting markets. But I don't think we thought what this initial port report says is uh, it, it was going to be the case, right? Yeah, these are some like bananas numbers um so in the four days so nfl thursdays i think that's the day the market went live between then and 5 p.m pacific time sunday so not even like sunday night game they got 271,000 new accounts and 6.1 million geolocation pings so that's basically either someone logging into account or, or placing a bet um and so that that makes arizona already the fourth bigot biggest market in the US over the, that four day period. So ahead of Illinois, who's got like 6 million more people, um, just behind Michigan, which has got like 5 million more people. So I, I, mean, I think there's, there's two things kind of explaining why Arizona's so mental. I, I, I guess one is, you know, all, all the early adopters, are, they're probably excited to have sports betting. They're, they're downloading all the apps, betting away. But I think you're probably also having a bit of this New Jersey effect where people are coming from California. They're, they're crossing the border into Arizona, uh, gambling away. Because I, I did a little bit of maths. And if it's only Arizona adults signing up for accounts here, it would be about 7% of all Arizona adults signed up for accounts. Um I guess I guess there'd be a lot of multi accounting going on, but <laughs> whatever they, they they embraced it in Arizona so far. Yeah, I mean, look, this is this is one of those things where I mean they're going to gain they're going to gain some new accounts here pretty soon because I'm going to make the drive down there here, um, <laughs> you know, in the next couple of days as well because we've talked about the the differences in what you get in Nevada and what you get in other places. I th- and I think you're right. I mean, there are. It's it's just as easy for some of these guys to drive over the border there in um in, over in Arizona. New Mexico could do the same thing, right? And and cross across the border, get in Arizona, sign up, make some bets, and do different things like that. And there's a couple of towns even on the border in Nevada that it would be worth kind of just popping back and forth over there as well. If you are even in the least bit serious uh, about all this, Dustin, you and I you know, kind of speculated that we thought Arizona would certainly be an interesting market and thought that it would be uh, pretty big. But I think when I said pretty big, I did not think like instantly jumping to what seems to be one of the more uh, one of the more fruitful states when it comes to all this out there. Uh, what, do you think one? Do you think this is sustainable? And two, do you think that Arizona is kind of in that conversation now? Whenever we're talking about the powerhouses when it comes to sports betting. Yeah, I mean you can't. Yeah, I mean a quarter over a quarter of a million accounts in in four days is nuts. Yeah. Like it's. You know, uh, we have talked about this. This is this is a perfect storm. They Arizona for our, for its faults in, in regulating and doing all of this. You know, did it right, right? We did. We we're like, let's do it at the start of NFL season. Let's get let's capture that because any other time, there's no other, there's no better time than that day to launch, right? That is the best day you could you could possibly want to launch sports betting in the United States. So that on top of you had a lot of operators all at the same time doing concurrent marketing and same thing we saw in Michigan, right? Where we had a bunch of operators go live same day, this, this critical mass of people like wanting to sign up for legal sports books. The Arizona from the, from that standpoint, time, the time to launch correctly. They said, let's, let's be ready for NFL season. You know, whether they, whether they cut some corners or, or this was the greatest plan in the world, who knows, but it, it, instantly put this the sports betting market into into to rare air and this is you know what we say when we t- look at other states that have done this suboptimally like a tennessee or a illinois, illinois where there's now back to in-person registration as we know but yeah this is uh i, I think it's i mean yeah, i mean it's a top five state instantly it's there's no reason to think it's going to backslide from that and you know the dry i think dr- brad's right with the drive-in like between the between i would i wouldn't be surprised to see like DraftKings throwing up uh, billboards to say go drive in Arizona and bet on DraftKings. Right? I, I, like, I would yeah, imagine it, that it, is that is in the works because uh, yeah, I mean you know <laughs> it just it, it again it's 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 just a better experience right overall. Like I mean they they offer a better product. There it's a superior, superior product to everything that's available in Nevada. They offer a better experience. Better I mean everything about it's better. So yeah, it wouldn't surprise me uh, in the least bit. Brad, when we look at Arizona too, I mean the other thing is is 
there are still a lot more books to come. So, I mean, yeah, we know that there is at least some sort of stickiness amongst uh, amongst Americans whenever they sign up for a sports book and all that. But, I mean, if you are if you are some of these other books that have yet to launch, this has got to be at least a little encouraging for you that it seems like there's a, an incredible appetite here to to bet on the on the apps. Yes. I mean, uh, there's well, there's going to be 30 odd operators, I believe, something like that. Um, and I, th- I think what's interesting is so the same numbers we're, that are showing how big Arizona is. They were showing that New Jersey is still growing 35 <laughs> percent year on year. Right. So, I mean, that kind of shows you the runway for growth. You know, if, if you do have a competitive market, you do have 20 plus operators who are still happy to throw money at the problem, throw bonuses at the problem, throw money at marketing. I mean, because marketing works, yeah, right? Like, for sure. You know, that our company for the last couple of weeks, all, all these all these operators, all these all these affiliates have all been going. Arizona's launching like that's, you know, that's the focus. So, yeah, I, I think there's a there's a huge run, runway for growth over the next, you know, four or five years or so. In yeah, no, I, absolutely. I, I think that that's certainly the case. And I think that it'll I'm not going to say we're going to see a, a, a big drop off in numbers for Nevada. But like, look, you you've taken out a feeder market now for sure. I mean, like, like Phoenix was certainly a feeder market. There were certainly people who were driving up from the border towns as well and all that. So it'll be interesting to see, how, you know, what kind of effect it, it, it has on Nevada as well. 